Hello, everybody, and how are you doing today? Well, I hope everybody did good. I couldn't get on to yesterday. I was just too busy. So <clears throat> we have a beautiful reading today. Um, a lot of things have been going on in uh, my world. I'm sure your world is there, too. Uh, still getting a lot of downloads. We've got some really major things coming in the, fore in, in the forefront here, and we need to get ready for them. So let's get into this reading. The first card, you know, I don't know if you guys have noticed it, but the last few readings we keep getting tens, which is a one. Um, this is the ten of air. Uh, it's a time of independence. Say goodbye to the public persona, no longer bound to another's opinion walk your own path and uh, see and know your potential. We are going to be walking our own path. We need to figure out what we really want in life and go out and grab it because we are going to be walking our own life. We are going to get our independence and it is coming. It's just going to be a rough, rough and rocky road until we get there. Uh, the self is whole time to grow up and leave home. <clears throat> the process of individual individualization leads to becoming oneself, to stepping away from the external forces that we believe define us, to becoming an independent being who recognizes and embraces their own uniqueness and individu individuality. It is about removing the mask we represent to the public so that we are liked and respected and accepted. The face we wear so we fit in and belong no longer are our public face and private life very different. We represent our, our face to the world. And if it isn't, is not like, then so be it. If it makes us a black sheep and a flock of white sheep, then so be it. We would rather be honest and accepted by the few than to be what family or society expects. You know, I just thought about that the other day. I really don't care what people think about me anymore at that point I mean as long as I'm walking the path of good and I'm a good person I really don't care what people think about me they'll have their own opinion and they it, it, it's okay they need to have their own opinion uh but the public we are going to see a lot of things come out that like these kids that have been following these movie stars and trying to be as skinny as them and pretty as them and as beautiful as them you know you never will because you're not them. You're you're you have your own beauty, an individual beauty that no one else can match. So we have to remember that. Let's see where we were. We would rather be honest and accept by the few than by than to be what family or society accepts. Individual individualization is being who we are meant to be, as opposed to being the person society tells us we should be. It is breaking free from caring what about what people think of, you know, I thought about that too. When this hurricane and these tornadoes came through and ripped us all apart and we had to ask for a little bit of help, uh, there was no choice. We didn't have anybody we could go to um, and put the GoFundMe page on our Facebook. You wouldn't believe how many people that I tried to hide who I really was from because I wanted to be accepted by them uh, didn't help. And you know what? I thought to myself, why would I even want to be like them? I would have helped anybody in a minute, whether if I couldn't help with money, I would have helped with something else, you know, something. But to stand back and just watch people struggle and not say a word, I don't want to be like those people at all. Those people just... Yeah, I, I'm, I'm not there anymore. I may have been there at one time, but I'm not there anymore. So we really need, you know, this card is basically telling us, and she's beautiful. She's got the rainbows. She's got the butterfly. Uh, she's got the butterflies flying all over the place. She's got the rainbow wings. She's got source. She's walking away. There's like a, a solar system uh She's going into another dimension of being. She's leaving the 3D world that she never belonged in anyway. And she's going to be that beautiful rainbow butterfly person that she always was, that uniqueness. I love that card. And what's interesting about that card 
is we got the 16, the tower, destruction. I think we are destructing our old persona of how we faked how we were. It's like a whole, it's like, it's like taking the mask off, taking the, the outfit off, taking the baloney off and just being real. That's the destruction of the ego of look at me. Surrender to the universe, give up control and be to construct a new way of working, thinking, relating and living. You now have the freedom to start over and strong foundation on which to build whatever has fallen. I know I think about that. You know, we lost so much stuff in this hurricane and we have to rebuild completely. When we bought this property, we had to rebuild completely. And now we have to fix what is like totally broke. And, you know, it does, it, it brings on the gratitude actually for being alive. It brings on the thankfulness that that tree did fall on us and protected us from the storm. Because the other day we were going to, to uh, we were going to town and we seen a fifth wheel camper probably about as big as ours and it was twisted it was it was really bad and i'm thinking you know if that tree wouldn't have been on on our camper holding us down mother earth we might have flung through the air and, and twisted and spun and we might have been in a field somewhere we don't know with me and my husband and our three fur babies so i am thankful for a lot of things uh, and i'm just kind of kind of going going over everything that happened and, and it's it's actually humbling so yeah the uh old paradox of the look at me i'm just as beautiful as you are and i'll do everything you will if you if you jump off that bridge i'll follow you because i want to be in your in your little section of being no, if you jump off that bridge, you're on your own. I don't want to be like you. I'm good. I'm going to be like, like Fawn. I don't want to be like you. That's a good way to be because you don't need to be like anybody else. And you won't, you won't be like anybody else. You're you. And with that, with that, we got my favorite card, the choice, the black and white. And that's a number two. Two of air. Everything has an opposite. Duality divides and separates. Polarity unites and it integrates. When you create, you also destroy. We're creating our, our real uniqueness. And we're destroying the old fakeness. Embrace an open mind. Nothing is ever black and white. A choice between... Integration and dichotomy. Sometimes both parties can be right. The two of air represents both duality and polarity and the theory that everything is creation has an opposite. We do. We have a masculine and femi feminine. We have, a, we have to embrace both of them and balance them out. We have to be who we always were, who source and God meant us to be. The all there is and all there ever was did not make any mistakes with each individual person. Moving the card. I'm not going to stay on that card long because we all know what the right choices are. Come on, that that's just common sense. We're not we're not going to play. We don't have no common sense because this whole spirituality movement. We have a lot of common sense. We're very smart, intelligent people. Three of Pentacles, recognition. That's the next one that came out for the uh, choice card. Show off your work and be proud of your achievements. Further success on this card. Uh, you need to acknowledge the positive attention, whether making a speech, organizing an event, or demonstrating a skill. Whatever you are successful at, you need to be proud of what you're doing. Um, we should all walk proud, not ego proud, but that we're beautiful and we were made by source and we are all there is with him. I mean, we're we're all his creation. We're all brothers and sisters, whether we whether people like it or not, they they can accept whatever they want to accept, but it's it's common sense that we have that, and that's what it is. The three of air. We've got a lot of air cards today. Expand your mind. Every experience offers a lesson. Educate is a lifelong process. Learning aids comprehensive. Lessons repeated. Under 
until we understand learning transforms talent and skills don't kill the messenger. Ignorance is nothing to be proud of. There it is right there. This is knowledge. This is the Merlin. This is the, the Harry Potter. This is the person that is trying everything and getting all of the knowledge, not just from the book that's in gold. He's got the dragon looking in. He's got other things. He's also writing. You know, don't put your head just in a book. A book is great, but experience life outside too. Because you have, we learn from everything. Everything that we ever came in contact with, we've learned from, whether it's good, bad, or ugly. And I got a couple more cards that spun out. And I really thought that I should read these because the next card that came out was the Angel of the Ocean and it's healing. You'll need to work a little magic now to reconcile opposites. Be patient and compassionate and you will get everything done. Balance, patience, flow, compassion, finances. That is this card. This is the card of the healer, the negotiator, the manager, or parent who must soothe and tempt us with demands to keep the peace. You know, I found a lot of times this, this week that I had to practice patience. And I already told you that I am not a patient person. I don't get upset about things, but I don't wait. Like, like say I'm standing in line and I, it's forever and ever and ever. I don't get mean, but I just go some, I just go to another line or I'll go do something because I'm usually impatient. But the last few days I had to be really patient because there was one gentleman sending money. He helps people in Egypt and it was a long wait at customer service. And he looked back and he said, just be patient. And there was another woman that walked up and she started complaining a little bit. And I said, you know, I said, we should just be patient. He's helping people and we should just wait and be patient. She quieted down. Um, I think we really need to practice that because people are just too impatient now. Now, and then I was coming back and I'm on a side road and there's a young boy in the middle of on the side of the road. And I thought, well, is he going to move? Because he's in the middle of the road. And he didn't even realize I was coming. He had his back to me. Luckily, I stopped, of course, you know. It was only 30 miles an hour on that road. And he turns around with his cell phone in his hand. And he was shocked because he didn't even know where he was. He was so engrossed in the cell phone. He was oblivious to the world around him. We really need to be careful with that. That's dangerous. If you don't know you're standing in the middle of a road where there's people coming down in a car, and you're oblivious to that, yeah, you need to put that cell phone down, boy, because that's, that's very, very, very dangerous. The last card is a number 10. And the number 10 is destiny, the wheel of fortune. This is our, I'm not even going to read that because we know this is our destiny. <laughs> Everything, you know what, I'm going to read the Soul Helper Oracle has the number one because we've been getting a lot of tens. And I remember the number one is a really special number. The number one tells you that you are a magician, priestess, and that now and then you require solitude in order to fulfill, fulfill, fulfill yeah, I can talk, <laughs> fully develop the capabilities within you. You need solitude now in a particular in order to receive your visions from a spiritual teacher clearly and without compromise. Number one promises success and a deep bond of the heart. It will teach you to feel the moment of creation within you and to perceive yourself as a spiritual being. Its energy field is the beginning and absolute being of the sum of all possibilities, the true, true spirit of the subtle world. That is the message that it's trying to give out, that we are the pure spirit of God. We are a source. I mean, we have to remember that because, you know, I always tell people, why would you think that source would ever make a mistake? There is no mistakes. Everything is planned, created, and destined to be. Now, I did do the Gateway of Light activation, and we got two amazing cards, totally amazing. And I think 
this is going to really help us out, these two cards. I got the Gaia Gateway Activation Learning Experience Wisdom Transmission and Earth Intelligence. And that is the Gaia Gateway. That is beautiful. The rainbows are there, the earth, the clouds, the walkway, the portal, the gateway. The Gaia Gateway is the chakra that connects us directly with the mind and intelligence of Mother Earth. This chakra is not very well known, but is now being acknowledged as one of the key energetic spaces we can connect with to activate the ascension process. For many years, ascension has been thought of as moving beyond the limitations of the body and transcending the physical realm. But in, it is in fact the process of becoming present in the body in full awareness of the spirit within that is a great message i mean we are present with the spirit within but we need to connect more with the spirit within and not as much as we have connected with the 3d matrix of the body wise the, the outside world the gaia gateway is found below our feet under the earth star chakra see page 67 hmm we'll we'll see page 67 to see what it says but when we're connected to it, it's best to imagine it is the center of the earth. The best way to describe it is as a wormhole or a portal in the center of the earth that allows us to connect directly with the non-physical intelligence of Gaia, the spiritual presence of planet earth. The earth is a highly spiritual intelligence aware, intelligent aware being. She has lived through many challenges and experiences that have led her to where she is today no matter what has been served up to her or how many of us have mistreated her she has found a way to survive and thrive wow that almost makes me want to cry because we have mistreated mother earth and mother earth protected us through the hurricane with her oh my gosh that that's i'm not going to cry but i'm i'm holding it back that is really beautiful connect Visualize yourself sending deep roots into the center of the earth. When you get as far as you can go, a portal will open up and connect you with the matrix of Gaia's wisdom. Be open to receive a direct transmission from her, your message. Sometimes it is not our role to know how everything will unfold. When you draw this card, it's a reminder to trust the plan. Hmm. Trust the plan. I wonder who else said that. Hmm. Number 17? Maybe. Interesting. The wisdom of Gaia, the wisdom of Gaia's is with you at this time, and you can enjoy the natural expansion that is taking place. You may have a tendency to go travel and look to the stars for the answers, but realize that the planet you call home has much to offer too. You have been chosen to be here. This may not be easy to accept, especially if, you current, if your current reality is a harsh one, but your current experience are vital for your growth. The earth herself cannot escape the challenges that she is facing at this time. Learn from her strength. Learn from her yearning for a better future. Come back to her. She is your chosen home. Wow. Wow, I love that. Oh my goodness. Oh. <laughs> wow. <clears throat> and that might explain that card, might explain this card that came out. Oh yeah, we were supposed to see what page was that? Uh it's 67. Yeah, page 67. What is that? interesting and we never got that card before earth star activation oh wow okay wait 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 we've got i've got to find that card and we have to look at that card because uh i think that's another message because that i've never i haven't seen that card let give me a second takes me a minute to look through these cards because they are matted and kind of stick together to an extent and they're new so let me see. We've got to look at this card. 
So I hope everybody's having a really good. Ooh, ooh. Okay, this card is. <laughs> I literally, I wish I could show you. I look at, I literally have goosebumps. Seriously, I am not kidding. Okay. Goosebumps. Oh. I'm literally, I, I'm not kidding. I am literally got goosebumps like all over my arms. And I'm, this card is like amazing. Earth Star Activation Anchoring grounded action isis energy okay we didn't pull this card but this card needs to be said so i am going to read this card because the next card is amazing too this is an amazing reading maybe i just needed to take a break for the better reading because i didn't do one yesterday <laughs> okay the earth star, didn't that card just say that our feet were at the ground and the inner earth and the stars? Okay. I'll have to go back and watch this again to see what, what I just said, but I think that's what I just said. Uh, the earth star chakra found around six to 12 inches below our feet is the energetic portal that connects us directly with the soul wisdom of the mother earth. That's like that dream I had where I seen myself that I talked about the other day and the earth was at my feet and the stars were in my eyes. Something like that. I think I said, I can't remember. I, I'd have to go back and look at it. Okay. Wow. That, wow. Okay. I gotta, I gotta, re, I gotta, I gotta get a grip. I gotta get my grip. This is just unreal. You wouldn't believe how my heart is fluttering and the goosebumps from this card. Okay, it's the energetic portal that connects us directly with the soul, wisdom of Mother Earth. It is our gateway to the underworld of the Earth, a space of sacred magic and mystery, where we will find a lot of the tools, gifts, and skills the ancients used to connect with the Earth and her wisdom. The Egyptian goddess Isis appears on this card as our spiritual guide. What did I just say that I had to stand behind a gentleman the other day and use patience that was sending money to help people in Egypt? And now they're saying something about Egypt. Um, there is no coincidences. The Egyptian goddess Isis appears on this card as our spiritual guide. She is a high priestess of the stars. who knows the importance of connecting with the underworld to stay grounded, aware, and manifest all that we need to grow. Follow in her footsteps by connecting to your earth star. See below. Anchor down and go digging within to find any parts of your magic, wisdom, and experience you have pushed down, both in this incarnation and in previous lifetimes. These tools could be helpful on the next phase of your journey. Connect. Imagine deep roots from the soles of your feet penetrating the earth and anchoring around a giant copper crystal star. Visualize streams of consciousness moving up in your feet, receiving them, then listening deeply. Your message. When you draw this card, your earth star has been activated and the wisdom you once ignored is finally being acknowledged. The rejected parts of yourself have now been rediscovered. There is an opportunity for you to discover magic too, but stay firmly rooted in all your endeavors. Let the earth hold and sustain you. Don't rush ahead. In fact, if you've been wondering if it's time to move forward, know that it isn't. Stay put for the time being. Important information is about to be revealed. So wait and stand strong. This is a time of integration and rest rather than pushing forward. Great wisdom lies within you. Divine, dive deep and find it and trust in yourself. You have more strength than you realize. Wow. Oh my gosh. I love that card. Well, we didn't pull it, but we were supposed, we were meant to see it. We were meant to hear the message. That's the way I look at that. 
And what's interesting with the whole reading, and I can't wait to read this card, is we got the halls of learning, spiritual guides, confirmation, and great lessons. Because that's what we're doing right now. We are we are having great lessons with these. Spirit is coming forward and telling us what we need to do and giving us great lessons. So this card does not surprise me that it came out. The halls of learning, also sometimes known as the great halls, are an etheric retreat dedicated to spiritual knowledge. They are a training space for all souls, including those on earth, spiritual guides and those between lives. They have been visited by many spiritual seekers, seers, and mediums over the years and have been described as a giant, somewhat gothic university building with marble flooring, spiral staircases, and tall bookcases. Some have said these halls are home to the Akashic Records, while others have wondered if they are connected to the halls of Manetti. And you know what we got? It says, see page 76, we got the Halls of Minetti not too long ago. That was one of the favorite readings that everybody got. I had, I think it was like almost 200 views on that one. You might want to go back and watch. I think there was some messages in that one. And the Akashic Records, number 34, they're saying, see that. And I'm pretty sure that we got that one. Let me look. Oh, we got the Akashic Stargate. Let me see if we got the Akashic Records. Yeah, we did get the Akashic Records. So you might want to go back and watch some of these because there is messages in those too. Well, oh, hang on. I got somebody here. Oh, I was lucky. He stopped by to get his daily hello. I love you and a kiss. Okay. So where were we? We were on the halls. I don't, you know, I don't know how much I read. So I'm going to reread it just in case because Lucky's got me all thinking of Lucky. Okay. The halls of learning, also sometimes known as the great halls, are an etheric retreat dedicated to spiritual knowledge. They are a training space for all souls, including those on earth, spiritual guides and those between lives. They have been visited by many spiritual seekers, seers and mediums over the years and have been described as a giant, somewhat Gothic university building with marble flooring, spiral staircases and tall bookcases. Some have said that these halls are the homes of the Akashic Records. So we want to go back and look at that uh, that reading because I did do the Akashic Records because it says see page 34. While others have wondered if they are connected to the Halls of Minetti and the Halls of Minetti we already read and that was a that was a beautiful reading so you might want to go back and look at that reading it's a different one. I can confirm that these are actually two different retreats. Ultimately this etheric retreat is an ancient mystery school and it is particularly powerful for those who are opening up their psychic and clairvoyant abilities. If this gateway comes to you often, it brings confirmation that your psychic gifts are strengthening. Also, if the idea of an ancient mystery school in the astral realm seems familiar, there's a good chance that you've been here during dream time or even between incarnations. These great halls are held within the heart of souls and are a Sorry, Lucky was leaving and the dogs went ballistic. So ultimately, this etheric retreat is an ancient mystery school, and it is particularly powerful for those who are opening their psychic and clairvoyant abilities. If this gateway comes to you often, it brings confirmation that your psychic gifts or strengthening. Also, if you, if the idea of an ancient mystery school is in astral realm seems familiar, there's a good chance you've been here during the time, or even, or even between incarnations. These great halls are held within the heart of Source and are a projection of the divine mind's infinite intelligence. When we visit them, we are connected directly. With the wisdom of source that that would oh boy could you imagine i think i've i think i've 
you know, last, last night I had this dream and I don't remember who was in it or what was in it, but it was like, I was learning something. And I don't remember lately. I've remembered a lot, but then there's bits and pieces that I just don't remember. Connect. Think about a challenge, a time or a challenging time or lesson you are facing and say source and wisdom keepers of the halls of learning. Thank you for revealing to me the pattern, trauma, or wound that has created this lesson so I can heal it once and for all. Then listen carefully. You know, a lot of times, listen carefully. We need to think about that because a lot of times you see people praying, talking to God, talking to source, talking to everything. But guess what? Once they're done talking, they say amen or they're done and they walk away. They're not listening. Maybe you should, instead of talking, go into like a meditative prayer state and listen to the message because you know what? Source knows all. So he knows already what you're thinking. Just my picking something up and trying to, you know, think about the way we do things. Your message. You are on a path to great learning. Spiritual being beings are drawing close to support you if you are facing challenges or difficult circumstances or have just moved through such a time you are being called to review what you have learned about yourself if you're still feeling overwhelmed by a certain event or asking why it happens call on source and your guides to reveal to you the pattern trauma and wounds that has contributed to this challenge if you aren't experiencing challenge, challenging energy, the reason is that you've made huge progress on your spiritual journey, so much so that your perceptive has shifted so that you can view every challenge as a window of opportunity. The Halls of Learning Gateway indicates that your spiritual gifts are developing at this time. I completely believe it. I know my spiritual gifts have completely went through from 3D to like, five six d at this point because i am so over all of the 3d baloney i, I just am I, I can't i can't even stress it enough okay what was interesting is we got this card about a week ago i'm thinking in a reading this is the soul helper oracle the first card that we got was a number 18 which is a nine lost in the ruins of the past find the way to the present moment and live this card reminds me, it keeps reminding me, every time I see it, and I'm sure if anybody's seen it, it was the Robin Williams movie, Where Dreams May Come, where he had to rescue her out. She committed suicide. He had to rescue her out of some place like this, that she was lost in the past and couldn't get beyond it. Her whole family was waiting in a beautiful, different dimension of heaven, is what they call it, but I'm saying a different dimension. And she wasn't coming because she was lost in the past. So that's what this card reminds me of. Are we completely lost in the past? Are we just reliving and reliving and reliving like a broken record? We need to get a, we need to break the record completely, throw in the garbage, recycle it and walk away. You are a traveler on the path of your soul. You will need all your courage as you are following the light of your heart into an uncertain future. However, you have now drawn this card and it is a very important sign. You have become lost in the ruins of the past, in ruins that are the remnants of an unpleasant and difficult time. You have looked back too often instead of looking forward. At this time, trapped in places in the past that should have long since ceased to exert power over your life, even if you could go back you would find yourself alone and deserted. You would not meet anyone there. So what is it that you seek in these silent ruins that can offer you only loneliness and bitterness? They symbolize all you missed, your missed opportunities, but you cannot restore them now. They are what they are. If you're, you linger there, you will begin to see your life as meaningless and sad when it is really a wonderful and magical adventure. Feel the light of your heart and hear the sound of your soul. Continue on your path to discover endless possibilities, new adventures, 
new encounters, and even a new love. If you live tediously in the light portal of the present, your eyes firmly fixed on the future, you will be on a path of your soul. Leave the past behind and find your way back to the present. It is now important to forgive yourself and continue your journey, your gaze fixed firmly ahead. Your helpers for the next 21 days are the mouse, animal, the herbal essence is the lemon, the healing crystal is the black opal, and the number is nine. Let's see what nine has to say. Number nine reveals that you have something new to learn. Be open, receptive, and curious enough to seek it out. You will find you will then find wisdom and unconditional deep healing love. Number nine will help you reach a point of completion so that you can turn your attention to the mysteries of the unknown and the new. The energy field is indestructible without being inflexible. Number nine always remains true to itself. Nine plus nine, eighteen. Whose digit adds up to nine? Nine times nine, 81. Whose digits adds up to nine? So you can multiply any number, you know, just do the nine. And it always adds, you can break it back down. It always adds up to nine. It is almost as if it absorb. it is absorbing every other number through its calculation. Number nine teaches you how to do this, to accept the powers offered to you in order to achieve perfection. This number is fulfillment and completion, but also as a beginning and an end. We had the beginning card the other day. We have beginning and ending coming down. I also, we also got another card, uh, number 40, and you are caught up in drama. Act to free yourself, change, and blossom again. A lot of things have come up today with is free. We have to release ourselves from the chains that bind us. Realize that you are responsible for the prison we create for ourselves and the dramas in our lives is quite a challenge. They rise simply because something is not going the way we would like it to, or worse still, other people are not behaving as we would like. You have now stray, strayed far from the path of your soul. You have become lost in sadness, careless of yourself, and neglect your true needs and feel sorry for yourself. You have drawn this card because a great opportunity now awaits you. Choose to take it now. It is up to you. The ball is in your court. Recognize that there is a gift, a great chance, ready for the taking in everything. You and you alone are responsible for your life, your happiness, and for your how difficult or otherwise you make your life. Resist the temptation to ask friends, colleagues, and neighbors for advice. They cannot know how you feel and what your emotional needs are. It is up to you. It is your responsibility. Take a look at your life and how it feels. Find the germ of change within you, the spark of wonder, lightness, and emotional abundance, and allow them to grow and blossom in your heart. Take action and start to change things. It does not really matter that you change, but make a start. Begin with yourself or your home. Once you do so, the paral paralyzes that has been holding you captive in your own drama will be broken. Your helpers for the next 21 days, the power animal is the dolphin. The herbal essence is the lemon. That's lemon twice. Maybe I just got a lemon from Lucky picked up a lemon off our lemon tree. <laughs> That's funny. The healing crystal is the Lamar and the number is four. Let's see what the number says. Four reveals that you need solid structure now more than ever. To feel secure, you need an ordered space. This number brings a sudden burst of energy. Use it to get your life in order. It brings good humor and cheerfulness. Things will be less complicated and life will become easier. Start to be aware of yourself and your body more keenly and take care of your physical needs. Number four's energy field is the mastery of matter. In order to be able to create paradise, wholeness, divine order, and manifest. That's a perfect card to end this. We are responsible for everything in our life. Whatever happens that we manifest and live, we are. So if we don't take the energy to clean our house, if we don't take the energy to rebuild what was destroyed, if we don't take the energy to do what we need to do, then, oh, wow, I forgot a card. I think I was supposed to forget this card till the end, because what were we just talking about? And I'm telling you, it's a 10 completion. 
number one. We just read that. We just read it, number one. We've been getting tens all the time. This is the luck card. Appreciate the special bond you share as a group and love that comes with commitment. Family celebration, good luck is coming in your celebration of windfall or other unexpected financial bonuses. Appreciate the stability this brings. A family gathering is on this card too. The usual irritations disappear and you feel love, support, and relatives. Um, we are going through a completion, whether we all like it or not. Where we are in a stagnated world that we've, we've created and, and been stagnated in for too long, that's coming to a completion. It's coming to an end. Uh, we're going to change it. We're going to a whole new world and we're going to a whole new life and we're creating it. We are the creator beings that source put on this earth to create and we are here in the now to do it. So that was an amazing reading. There was all kinds of twists and turns and surprises. This was a great drama. This is better than a soap opera. I'm telling you. Okay. So I rattled on enough and I'm going to let you guys go. I'm going to put a link on the show more section for our GoFundMe page. If any of you can help, we would greatly appreciate it um i'm also uh hit the likey lovey button um because our soul family needs to find these these messages to help and with that said i love you all very much and may every step in your journey be magical in every way and be you that's all you need to do show your uniqueness and make the world love you as Source loved you when we all were created here. I love you all. Have a magical day. <laughs>